Hello, my name is Emily, and this is my partner Ryan. We met three and a half years ago while working in Yellowstone National Park together and have been traveling the world ever since. We've lived in South Korea for a year, got scuba certified in Bali, rode motorcycles through the mountains of Vietnam, and explored ancient temples in Japan. After moving back to the U.S. at the beginning of 2020, in the middle of a pandemic, we decided to keep traveling by taking a road trip across the United States in a van. In August, we left Florida and drove to Colorado. In Colorado, we saw the Great Sand Dunes National Park, Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park, and the Colorado National Monument. There were some really bad fires happening in Colorado, so instead of going east to the Rocky Mountain National Park, we went west to Utah instead. We went to one of my favorite places ever, Moab, and had to go see the classic Arches National Park. It was so hot in Utah, so we decided to only stay for two days. After spending the day swimming in the river trying to stay cool, we went to sleep that night with the van doors open. Big mistake. I'll explain what happened next. All right, Emily, where are we? Currently, we're in Idaho Falls because there's a mouse living inside of our van. Two nights ago, we were in Utah and I heard a mouse scurrying around. We fell asleep with the doors open because it was so hot. And we left that night and I heard the mouse scurrying and we saw a mouse actually leave the van and run into the bushes, so we assumed that it was gone. And the next day in Jackson, Wyoming, we saw our tortillas had a big hole through the bag into the brand new tortillas, so we figured it was the same mouse. And the next night we tried to sleep and I heard some more scurrying, so we drove to Idaho Falls where we stayed at the hotel. Now we have to go deal with this problem. And Ryan saw the mouse today as well. So I've been freaking out. Really dramatic. Show it the show show the hole. Why don't yes, we this is a show proof. The insulation here. You might see it. Here's the keys. You can see a big hole and we think it's buried under there. Where did you see it? I saw it right in that hole. I saw, yeah. I came down to get clothes earlier and I saw his little body and then he ran in when I opened the door and I saw his long tail. We just got to Walmart where we're gonna go buy all the things to get rid of this mouse. Specialty aisle where they have all the stoked up cleaners and all of that. Okay. okay. Thank you. Nice. And you just throw away the, the box. <laughs> it's better than, than picking up with your hand. Okay, so we're leaving Walmart and... The van is completely silent. I just hate it. I hate knowing that there's something in here. Oh God, my nightmare. All right, let's go back to the hotel. I'm not sure if this is mouse droppings or do you kind of see them look they're like little pebbles. Oh yeah, that looks like little poops. Those are poops. Right? Yeah. 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 I know. That one looks like poop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally the worst nightmare of living in a van. This really makes me stressed out. Ugh, I'm over it. Do you see this? Yeah. It's a big bite. There's gotta be more than one. Oh my god, that's a lot of bagel. Yeah. These are dense too. Oh, we just picked up bagels from our favorite place in Jackson. We didn't even get to eat them because the mouse got there first. Mmm, mouse has good taste. Such a bummer, I just We're bought not those avocados. These. Yeah, no way. Oh, ew, and there's mouse poop in our pantry. And we got just about everything cleaned out. Um, so there's nothing in the drawers or the cabinets. Basically an empty shell again. Some more mouse poops. Yuck! Yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh, last trip. I'm setting the traps will be like five minutes. Hope we get it tonight. I feel like they're kind of active at night. That's when we hear them. We're staying at an actually like a pretty nice hotel, this Hilton. And every time I rolled in with the load of this shit, the ladies at the front desk looked at me like I was, I was at the wrong place, yeah, <laughs> the wrong okay. trailer park. Uh -huh. Nice and crunchy. I hope you're not a creamy peanut butter kind of mouse. So we peel it. Does it say how much to put in? 
It just says apply uh, apply bait, so I'll put as much as fits, I guess. It's 9 a.m. We just both woke up, and the first thing I wanted to do is go check the van for a mouse. So we're gonna go down there in a minute and see how the traps did. I'm really nervous. I hope there's something there because I don't know what we will do tonight if we didn't get it. All right, we're about to check the van. Are you ready? No. And then the alarm too. Oh yeah. No mouse behind there either. No mouse in this bowl. You guys, tell one in further. It's deeper in there now. <laughs> we didn't catch the mouse, so we decided to stay one more night in the hotel because I honestly was not mentally prepared to move back in with the mouse on the loose. I forgot the alarm was off. Uh. <laughs> Like he tore through some of that and it didn't set. Yeah. The next morning we came down and didn't catch the mouse. This time, whether I was ready or not, we were moving out of the hotel and back into the van. Last night it did not go for any of the traps. We had so many traps and I ate some peanut butter, but it didn't get stuck. Here are the keys. Um, so now we're gonna try some cotton balls with peppermint oil because I've heard a lot of people say that that will get the mouse out because it really hates that strong scent. So we're gonna try that and maybe another type of trap. Um, oh, we got it! It's oh, dead. Oh my shit. god, gross, but yes! Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, we headed on our way back to the Tetons to our favorite campsite ever in Curtis Canyon, where a ranger with a bad attitude gave us a ticket for parking in the wrong place, but that's a story for another time. Then off to Yellowstone. We camped in Cody, Wyoming for a few nights where we met up with some friends. After the stone, we went north to Montana. We slept on an alpaca farm outside of Bozeman and then drove on the Beartooth Highway to Red Lodge. We woke up to a moose running by the van and then went on our way to Glacier National Park where we slept at a grocery store parking lot before spending the next whole week camping at Blankenship Bridge, the best site ever. We made a rad group of friends and had bonfires every night. In Glacier National Park, we locked the keys in the car at the furthest point in the whole park. We got stuck in the rocks and we hiked 14 miles to Grinnell Glacier and saw the prettiest sunset of our entire lives. After our Montana trip, we went to the North Cascades National Park in Washington, where we stayed for another week. Because unfortunately it was peak wildfire season, it was smoky and hazy the entire time. We tried to outrun the smoke and go to the coast, where we stayed at Olympic National Park for another week. My dad and brother met up with us in Washington, and they rented an RV. Now, after a few weeks, the smoke had finally passed, and we went back to the North Cascades. We hiked to Colchuck Lake, and it did not disappoint. From Washington, we went down to Portland, where I dropped Ryan off at my brother's house so he could get some work done. Then it was just me, my brother, and my dad for the next 10 days. We camped outside of Bend, Oregon, and then drove to Eastern Oregon, where we camped at some hot springs, and then on to Idaho. We went to the Sawtooth Mountains and hit every single hot spring we could on our way. Idaho blew me away with all of its natural beauty. We drove south through Idaho down to Utah, and it was my dad's first time in southern Utah, and we got to spend a couple days outside of Zion National Park. We camped at the most epic site ever and went on a beautiful hike where we were the only ones. We said goodbye to dad in Utah, and then my brother and I road trip back up to Portland. We went to California and drove through Death Valley National Park at sunset, then we went to the Alabama Hills, just outside of the Sierras. We woke up to another epic sunrise, 
Then I lost my drone to a crash landing, but then I found it, so it was okay. We hit some awesome hot springs and had the whole place to ourselves. Hey guys, just wanted to say. Gotta love some brother-sister bonding. We made dinner on the side of the road and camped in a casino parking lot outside of Crater Lake National Park. We spent the whole morning here and then drove back up to Portland. After a few months of non-stop travel, we have found ourselves in Portland for the time being. We are taking the van out for more local trips here in Oregon and enjoying things like hot showers and being able to fully stand up again. We are excited to explore Oregon this winter and thanks for tuning in to this little recap and stay tuned for more blogs about our adventures.